All right, this is gonna be a bit of an awkward one. During the ages of 13 to 14, I was heavily addicted to the hub. I'm not just talking about once a day type of stuff. I'm talking about multiple times a day. Getting up, doing it before school, going to school, and doing it, I was about to say doing it at school. I never did that. <laughs> uh, no, I used to get home, do it from like just, just, just the urge at school. And I'd probably do it once or twice before I went to bed. This was my usual routine every single day. And it was because the hub was my life. I had no, no other purpose in my life. So one night I'm doing it. I'm going up my nightly routine of watching corn. And my mum yells out to me. Jack, we have to do something. It will take 10 minutes at max. And I'm like to my mum, just five minutes, just five minutes. I'm doing something important. I'm doing some schoolwork. I literally said this, I remember it. And she said, no, nah, we have to do it now. You can come back to it later. I'm like, all right, all right. I'm gonna put my phone down. I can come back to this wank in 10 minutes, all right? So I'll go out to the lounge room and we're ordering my books for next year, my school books. So it's pretty important, right? I can't just miss, it, miss out on it. I need to get the, like, the, the right amount of books. So. I go out there, I'm like, okay, it only take 10 minutes, it's all good. It takes about 15 minutes just to go through everything, make sure it's all good. But the whole time we are doing that, I am just shaking. I'm shaking. And if I look back at this, that's, it's similar to a drug addict, bro. Of course, everyone has different symptoms. But I've, I know, I've known people in my life that, you know, have been addicted to drugs and shit. And you can tell when they're not on it, they're just shaking the whole time. They're shaking. And I look back at that and it was, it was the exact same. I was shaking, I just wanted it. I just, I was just keep, I kept looking back, kept looking back. I asked my mum halfway through the conversation, can I go and just finish my homework and will only take me five minutes. She's like, no, we have to do this and you can go and do it, right? And I couldn't even talk to my mum without thinking about porn. It was fucked. That wasn't even the worst thing. I was out with my family one day. This would have been probably, er, this would have been earlier before this happened. It would have been maybe six months earlier, starting year eight maybe. Uh, and I was probably doing it once a day, once or twice a day. I was out with my family and we went out for lunch one day. We went out for lunch and I was excited to see the family again. I was really excited, but then again, I was addicted to corn and I knew I wouldn't, if I got an urge, I wouldn't be able to watch it. So I was a bit sad in that way, but that didn't really bother me. But I walk in, our table was already set, most of the family's already there. Now I sit down and I see a girl next to me. She's probably like 10 meters away from me, but she looks like a corn star. She looks like the people I watch on the, on the hub. You can tell she has made like a lot of makeup on. You can probably tell she has implants and shit. Uh, and that's something against her. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with her. It's just my mindset at the time. And because that girl was there, my whole attention was just focused on her. It was nothing else. It wasn't even on my family. Bro. The family I hadn't seen for two years because my porn mindset. All I was thinking about is that. So I got one of the biggest urges of my life right in the middle of a restaurant, I'm probably there for the next two hours, I can't do anything about it. My parents would never allow me to bring my phone into the restaurant, which is a very good decision for them. And I'm probably doing the same for my kids. <laughs> so I couldn't really go to the bathroom and watch porn and none of that shit. Even though I wouldn't do that anyway, I don't think I was that down bad. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that, but still bro. I had an urge the whole two hours sitting there, my family would ask me questions like how school, I'd reply with one word answers. Oh, good. How's life treating you? Oh, good. I wouldn't even say anything back. Or oh, how are you? Because all I was thinking about is this girl, bro. I couldn't take my mind off her. And it's because corn is a drug, bro. So about a year after this incident happened with my family, this probably happened like three or four times when we went out for lunch. All I'd be thinking about is corn. That's all I'd be thinking about, yeah. And probably about a year after this happened, about eight months, I discovered no fat. I discovered that uh, corn was really bad for you. You shouldn't watch it. Yeah, uh, it ruins your brain structure, lowers your confidence with women, 
makes your skin really pale. And I, I saw every single one of those symptoms. I was drained, my skin was dry. Yeah, I wasn't glowing. I had pimples everywhere. Like, I don't really have any photos of me because I never used to take photos of me with pimples because I'd just be very insecure about it. And I discover it. They're saying, like these YouTubers I'm watching, they're saying that doing it once a week, once a day is bad for you. I'm doing it at, at this point in my life four or five times a day because it just got worse and worse and worse and worse. And I'm like, okay, something needs to change. Something needs to change, right? I am digging my hole to misery, to emptiness, deeper and deeper every single day. I, I just can't do this anymore. Right, because I never knew corn was actually bad for me. But I looked at my life and I'm like, okay, corn is the problem. It is. And if I, if I delete this out of my life, I can guarantee you that everything in my life, everything in your life will improve, bro. Everything. And this is what I told myself after doing some research. So I go through my process of quitting. I quit around four months into no fat. Right? I'm like, I get to a point, I'm like, fuck this shit, I'm done. I'm not doing this shit anymore. I've relapsed so many times. This is the last time I do it. And as soon as I really admitted that to myself, I'm like, okay, that relapse, that's the last relapse I'm ever gonna have. And I look myself in the mirror and I told myself, this is the last time. That's the last time I do it. I truly believed that that was the case. The, the times before that, I never believed it. I'd always find an excuse, but I told myself, no matter what excuse comes up, I'm not gonna watch it ever again. And it worked. It definitely worked. I told myself that and I'm like, I'm done. Now I'm over a thousand days on NoFap if you wanna count the days. So then, because I start doing well, really well on NoFap, I start implementing some NoFap videos into my content. I just started off with workout videos, but because no paper changed my life dramatically, I wanted to start making videos on it. So I make around four or five videos on it, maybe one every two weeks, once a month. And my mum comes up to me. She says, shows me the video. What's no fat? And my face goes so red. It is not funny. I'm sitting on my bed. She comes in my room, wants to know, not in like a angry way. She's, she's just curious, what is no fat? Because I'm only 15 at the time. I don't want to be sharing, you know, stuff on the internet that's a bit weird or it's, you know, a bit controversial. She's just making sure my safety is on point. What's no fat? And I'm sitting there for about six seconds wondering what to say. I don't know what to say. I, like I'm thinking about, okay, what should I say? What should I say? Because I don't want to say it's porn. It's no porn. I don't want to say that. Yeah. But after about five seconds of just thinking, she's going to know it's a lie when I say something else. So I'm like, I might as well tell the truth. I tell her, it's no pornography. That, that's it. And her, she's very surprised by that because she didn't think someone my age even knew what that was. So I, I tell her that how it's ruining our generation. It's so common nowadays. Basically every single man has been exposed and a lot of men are addicted to it. And I, I, I convince her and I'll be brutally honest with her. I was addicted to watching that stuff like three or four times a day. I told her this stuff because at this point I'd quit porn. I was like four months, oh, like four or five months off. I can't exactly remember at this point in my life. I can tell my mum how addicted I was. And if she wants to, I don't know, bring me down, which she will never do, but let's say she wanted to for some reason. That's like robbing a house I'm not living in anymore. Robbing my past mistakes. I'm not gonna get offended by that because I know I've moved on. I know I'm a better human being. I know I've bet the, probably the most uh, addicting addiction on this earth and that's corn. So I tell her, I tell her the complete truth. She, yeah, she's a bit surprised but I think she was proud of me for admitting that. I think she was more proud of me for admitting the fact that I was addicted rather than actually quitting because I don't think, to this day, I don't think she realizes how, and most adults don't realize how addicting corn is. 
because it's such a big thing in our generation. It wasn't really big back then. Yeah, back then it was, for them, it would have been still the DVDs, probably, you know, you probably have to pay for it on the internet. Like, it was free. I mean, it wasn't free. I don't think so anyway. It might have been, I don't know. But it wasn't a big thing for them. But it's a, thing, it's a big thing for me and you. And let's fast forward probably a year. I would have just turned 16. And this is when COVID was hitting real hard. So about when I was 16, the, the restrictions, uh, it, they lowered here in Australia, here in Victoria, here in Melbourne. So we got together as, with the family for once in like, what, two years? The whole family came together, the exact same restaurant. And it kind of gave me some, like, some PTSD. <laughs> and I, I'm not mocking PTSD here. I probably shouldn't have said that. Um, but it, it brought back a lot of memories of me sitting on that exact table because we sat at the exact table because it's the only table that could hold that many people. But I'm walking in a new man. I'm off porn for a year. I'm ready to actually be myself around my family. It doesn't matter if a girl's in there that I might get an urge from because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that shit anymore. So I sit down and I have a genuine conversation with my family. I tell them how, how everything's going. Yeah, and of course I'm not going to bring up the fact that I've, you know, been struggling with a coin addiction. I'm sure they don't really want to hear that. But man, I left that table that day so much, conf so much more confident in myself because I was being my true authentic self. Because my true authentic self was my best self. And let that be one of your reasons for quitting, bro. Seriously. Let that be one of your reasons. Because if you are watching porn on a daily basis, a weekly basis, whatever it is, bro, I can guarantee you, your relationship with your parents and your family is not as good as it could be. It's not. Corn fucks with your head, bro. I wanna keep swearing more, but I've already recorded this video once <laughs> and YouTube demonetizes it straight away. So I'm, I'm allowed to swear. I wish I could a lot more. Because swearing is just a byproduct of passion. Because look, bro, your parents could be gone tomorrow. I mean to scare you here, but they could. If you if they leave with you being the lowest version of yourself, imagine how shit you'll feel. Imagine how guilty you'll feel. I felt I I, I experienced that three months ago. Not to put sympathy on me, but I'm simply saying this to open your mind. My father passed away three three months ago. Out of nowhere, just like that. Just like that. Out of nowhere, motorcycle crash. Just, just completely, just done, done. And if I was still the lowest version of myself, I would have so many regrets. It's not funny. I wouldn't even be able to show my father what I'm capable of. Of course, I still have a long way to go, but at least I'm on the right path. If I was the lowest version of myself three months ago, I would have had so much regret, so much. Let that be your reason, bro. Is, is, is fucking busting nuts to porn really worth it? Bro, there's so many things that, you know, are so much more valuable in, the, on the, in this world. That's all I have to say. I don't want to make this video too long, but it's something you need to hear. Yeah. Don't just do it for you. Don't just quit this shit for you. Quit it for your family as well. Quit it for your friends. Because they're all rooting for you, bro. Yeah. I'll catch you in the next video, my man. Peace.